Now, when the tree fungus ash dieback was first identified in Britain more than a decade ago, the omens were not good. The entire species appeared to be at risk. Millions of the trees have indeed died, but nature has once again proved its ability to defy the odds. New ash trees have started to grow that are resistant to the disease. The fight back against dieback is on. For centuries, the ash tree has stood sentinel across the British landscape. A native species used for tools, forming weapons, its leaves even used to treat the sick. In story and in soil, ash has been Britain's tree of life. But the ash tree is now in a fight for its own survival, with a foreign fungus sweeping through our forests. It is called ash dieback. This is one of our mature ash. Um, it's around about 150 years old. Uh, and if as you can see, it's, it's already starting to show, show signs of dieback. You can see up the top we've got lots of uh, dead starting to appear. The bark's starting to look a little bit peely-wally. 40 million trees now have this illness. Half of all the ash trees we have left in the UK are dying. The fear was not just of loss, but of extinction. The ash's slow retreat is written in the bark. It's, it's brown, it's, it's stone dead. But here, the forest is fighting back. A new generation of ash has developed its own immunity to the blight. Here you can see we've got a nice, a nice healthy example. It's showing absolutely no signs of, of dieback in it. And identical next to it, same size and everything. You can tell that this one has shown its first, first signs, so it's starting to lose all its leaves. Now scientists analysing the DNA of ash trees that do survive the blight have discovered green shoots of hope, an evolution not over centuries but in front of our eyes. Young population of ash that's only started growing since ash dieback disease arrived in the UK are more resistant to that pathogen than their previous generation was. Another really exciting thing we found is that this is a great example of natural selection operating in the wild. Death and decay has swept through these woods, but a new resilient generation now rises. The ash tree that once healed us has begun to heal itself. Peter Smith, News at 10, Edinburgh. Wonderful.